Skype yes to Vinny Troy. Stop. Number five. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be bringing these back because it's been forever. And some of these tapes I've only showed once, pretty much on YouTube. So I'm going to show them again. And guys, also, please request some openings and closings because I only have like 700 and something videos on my on my openings channel. And I'm, I'm planning to do more. So please let me know ASAP which ones I should do next. And... I have like 2,600 plus VHS tapes, so I could definitely use some more. So anyways, let's go and get started. I have like 1,900 plus VHS tapes I've not done opening or closing to yet. So please try to think of some more and... So yeah, here we go. Here we go. Start the two clamshells I got. We're back at Dinosaur Story. I'll do the openings um, tonight and tomorrow and some other days, too. Because, guys, it's not only going to be on Saturday. It's going to be on other days, too. Sound Fleek of Night Night 4. Any Royal Adventure. And note, guys, um, some tapes with openings that only have the logos now, I'm actually starting to do those now again. I used to not do those because I thought it was kind of a waste of my time. You know what? No, I'm, I'm going to do those too, actually. 44, 5. This tape actually is TriStar Television at the end, which is really rare for tape. Very happy to have that tape. Definitely keeping it. Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie. This tape actually has Big W at the beginning, despite Cheese Shield label. Some of these I did do the opening to. Some of these um, I did not. I plan to do some of them. June second, that's high five. Next, I got City of Ghosts. Box date: December six on four. United Arsenal. October third, town three. Paris, Texas. Okay, no print date. Spy game. Box date, May 19th on 2. Alan Fugaton 2. Desperado with Antonio Banderas. 45th Fugaton 9, mine's a reprint. With no previews. What's in Gilbert Grape? Do you know what's weird? I think mine has like a print error. You know why? I, I don't know if it's just on my double decker VCR or what, but um, the Paramount feature presentation logo is selling on this tape. And the Paramount logo for the film. Guess what? As soon as the opening credits start, the audio comes back. I'm not even kidding. I might have to show you guys proof sometime. You know, that might have been the tracking that day. I don't even know. I'll have to check again. I'll let you guys know if it still does that, and I'll do a video for proof. Six week nine seven, but it's just the last time I popped it in because I have popped this tape in before and it was just silent through it. It's pretty weird. Toys, toys box selections. This tape does have the white gate at the end. I'm gonna do closing to it tonight probably or tomorrow. Uh, Twenty ninth week of nine five. Good barcode. This tape I checked. It does have the white gate off. I just keep forgetting to do it. I will do it tonight. I promise. Tonight or tomorrow. For absolute sure. And that falls in Manhattan. Because guys, I'm guys, I'm gonna be using my Elgato again. Um on non weekends. Paramount, Public Pictures, and Spelling Films. Cause guys, from now on, um, instead of waiting for a very until like weekends, I'm gonna be doing makeups, um I'm gonna be doing openings, you know, and closings I keep forgetting to do in the week now too. So guys, watch out for those and go on my Tires Always Have 14 channel more often if you guys want to see those. 39th of the Night 7, even though we'll probably get pictures on the side. Actually, it's Paramount Tate. Call it video label. It's next four key videos. Buddy System, the only one I have with the Space Key video logo at the beginning. I only have one with that. Hope to get more soon. No print date. For the Love of Ivy. No print date. Justine. Uh, I took off the arc label earlier, but the back, it kind of ruined the back, but I'll keep it anyway. 
it's not that big of a deal as long as it still works, and the tape does still work, so, yeah, not, no big deal. Still absolutely keeping it, no matter what. Tape's still fine, so, definitely still keeping it. Last Metro, two blockers of dates, February 26th, Tom 4, and February 16th, Tom 4, I forgot to forward there. And I'm planning to take off the arc label sometime. No print date. Guys, pretty much all the other key video tapes I have have the normal key video logo from 1985 or 1984. Two weeks notice. Blockers date October 12th, Tom 3. Um, March 20th, Tom 3. March 10th, Tom 3. So, um, 10 days apart. Lesser profits. And by the way, two weeks notice has the low tone boring shield. Blockers date June 1st, 1999. Sticker label, YCK Death Printings. I can't. Unfortunately, guys, I cannot turn on my flashlight because my phone's about dead. That I have left flashlight on. It's about dead. See, look at the percentage. Look at that. It's about gone. So, yeah. Ah, well. I'm going to have to do it next time. Tron 1993 VHS. The guys, I have done the closing to, to that one. And the next one. And one of the next ones. This one right here. Both of those do have the YHKD for proof. I actually did the closing of those already. If you guys want to check them out, Tyrus Homies Self Routine channel. And again, I am taking requests, so please request more. Please. I'm really am out of ideas. Give me more suggestions. I want to do more tonight and tomorrow and some other days. Not to get into that again. February 6, 93, during 14, 93. So, guys, please request some if you can. I really am begging you guys because I really need something to do next. I really want to add more to my opening channel, but I'm kind of out of ideas. Like Water for Chocolate. May 8th on 2, Blockbuster Date. Mirror Max and Touchstone. Just like one of the tapes I got recently. And it has a 2000 Blockbuster label. That's pretty rare. Aug 16, that's my 4. And unfortunately, Divinity doesn't have any tapes that rare 2000s Blockbuster label. Hope you get more. I mean, hope you get one sometime. I have quite a few, actually. All thanks to a VHS lot. A couple of VHS lots I ordered. Next, I got Debs. Sony tape. I think I'm one of the only known users to have this tape. It's extremely rare. Not a lot of people seem to have it. September 9th, Tom 5. The Curve. Here's the other one with Watch Can to Death Printings. I can't show right now because my phone is about dead. I have a feeling it's going to die on me. Printings. But again, I have done the closing to The Curve and Lesser Profits if you guys want to check them out. For proof, that was the white screen of death to verify. And I actually have shown them in the video before, I believe, with printings. Might want to try to locate that too if you want. Intolerable cruelty. This tape does have macrovision at the end. However, mine's actually recycled, believe it or not. 27 figure Tom 4 and the 34 figure Nazi 6. And it has a recycle from a good barcode tape. You know, it would still have nothing. Yep, mine is recycled. Strike and Distance of Bruce Willis, my second copy. So came both of them. I do hope to get a third copy with the White Chicken of Death at the end if I can. Check. This one has nothing at the end, despite um, no barcode. I checked it, it still has nothing. The fifth week of Nazi 4, so I can tell it probably is a boring barcode. It just fell off. I'm still going to keep both copies, though. I do hope to get a third copy. I'm going to keep all three of them once I do. Anaconda is The Hunt for Blood or Chid. This is the sequel to Anaconda. Screen Gems, and it does have Columbia as well, despite not being mentioned in the box. I'm, I'm actually going to do a video proving it um, tonight or tomorrow. For proof, this tape actually still has the Columbia logo at the beginning, before Screen Gems for this movie. Even though I will cut off Screen Gems, because I feel I'll get copyright for the music. Even though Columbia logo, I can tell, will not get copyright for, because I've uploaded it several times and never got copyright. 46 Week of Town 4. Next, I got Into the Blue. I know Divinity has. Playable blue black reels. March 7th on 6. I got Triple XA Reunion. Ink label blue id. March 23rd on 6. So mine's a reprint. Nell. 20 spot selections. Recycled. 50th Fig Nuts I 5 and the 12th Fig Nuts I 7. Mm -hmm. Commercials from all around the world. And it includes places like United Kingdom, Germany, Canada, France, Italy, Australia, um, Switzerland, etc. And as mentioned on the back, Japan as well. 
and I think China and Hong Kong as well, even though those are not mentioned. I can kind of tell probably those two, and maybe Asia and Africa. We'll have to see, though. No print date, and it does have that, which is pretty cool. I actually do plan to watch this some nights, sometime. Like, maybe I actually have a fun Skype event, maybe, watching this with the Vinny and maybe some other people, if, if I can. Next, I got Easter Parade, MG Musicals. And if you guys want to join that on Skype, also text me. I think it'll be, um, it'll be hopefully scheduled for, um, Sunday, December 18th, 2016. Just, uh, just guys, just, uh, just so you know, December 18th, Sunday, around 6 p.m. Colorado time is when I'm going to be playing it. October 5th, 1999, September 28th, 1999, two for dates. I checked this tape before I did the video, this video, and it does have Warren Chill at the beginning. What's the worst that could happen if Martin Lawrence and Daddy DeVito? Remember first time one, and it's a King Super State. I'll have, to, I'll have to check some iTapes, see if they remain in Korea from MGM. Let me check this one really quick, actually. It doesn't say where it was made. And let me check Easter Parade really quick. You know, I do not think so. Yeah, it does not say it. I'll have to check some of my MGM tapes a little bit later. I will, don't worry. I'm not sure if any of mine say main career. I'll have to check. I've not even checked any of mine, I don't think. The claim. Ink label. May 14th on one. So believe it or not, the save is actually printed on my birthday. That's actually the day I was born. No joke. So this save is actually printed the day I was born. This save is the exact same age as I am. That's pretty cool. Former rental from family video. And has that barcode thingy on it. Next, I got Breakfast at Tiffany's, and I also have a quick channel update about this one. I screwed up on the weekend year code. I said 18th, the Gnetai 1. I'll show you guys what it is in a second. May 1st, Gnetai 1 is actually the 19th, the Gnetai 1. I looked closer recently. It's actually a 9. It's a 9. 19th, the Gnetai 1. Sorry about that. I made a mistake. Well, at least you guys know now. I'll do the closing of that one tonight as well. I, I also have yet to do that one. Absolute power. Look at this. Pretty unusual label for a board shield tape. July 30th, 1997. Pretty interesting. Honey. Mine's actually a very rare top 5 reprint. Unlike the Vinny's copy. So label Black Reels. December 5th, Tom 5. So this tape's 11th anniversary. It was actually today, believe it or not. It's pretty cool. What? Yeah. Mine's December 5th, Tom 5. Pretty rare copy. Me in Manhattan. Okay, 30th we get on 4, and the 46th we get on 6, so it's also recycled tape, and it is recycled from a, um, born barcode tape. Again, mine's recycled. Mine is recycled. I did do the opening of that one, if you want to see it. Some of these I did the opening to, some of these I did not. Like, Buddy System I also did the opening to, Desperado I did, and some others. Bugs by Rotor movie, I did the closing to Annie World Venture. But not the opening yet. I might think about the opening, possibly. If it doesn't have... Well, or maybe... I hope it doesn't have previews. But if it does, ah, well. I don't remember if it does or not. And maybe some others. And guys, I will do some um, tapes with previews. But it depends. Like, I will... I may do some openings with previews. As long as they're not copyrighted. Please let me know if some of them aren't copyrighted. I might do those, too. Using my Elgato video capture. My Tower Selling Software Team channel. Sorry, I keep getting into announcement mode. I just have a lot to say. So, anyways, here we go. Let's continue. Pure Country. Tape. September 12th, 1994. This tape actually does have GG Shield at the beginning. And, guys, um, this one actually game sealed when I got it. I unsealed it. Next, I got Top Gun DVS VHS. These next two are DVS tapes. Pretty rare tapes. So label, and it does come with promo materials, you can see. This, and this DVS survey. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Indeed. And then, you got the inside. Inspired December 31st, 1993. Hmm. Pretty nice. Whoops. There we go. Skill label, end label, 
No Week in Year Code, however, does have two. Actually, it's two white screen adapts to the end instead of one. I did the opening and the closing of this in my Terror Zone Republican channel. But guys, I did not mention the title to avoid copyright. Because when I did the closing and opening my 1987 VHS, I got copyright for both because I mentioned the Top Gun title. So guys, that's the reason if you're wondering. Guys, in certain films like that in Hunt for Red October, I have to censor the title because of copyright issues. Sorry about that. Just so you guys know. Just so you guys know. Yeah, and guys, if I have any other tapes like that, that's the reason, FYI. If I if I run into that situation again, that's the reason, if you guys are curious. So guys, just an FYI for next time. Next, I got the full Monty, which I got in the mail from VHS Collector 2002. And once again, thanks, VHS Collector 2002. This helps my Fox collection. I'm definitely keeping this tape for the Fox collection. Um, fifth week of 1998. And once again, thanks, VHS Collector 2002. That is very thoughtful of you. Next, I got the making of MGM Grand. Got this mail from eBay. Pretty rare tape. Actually, actually was able to watch this recently. It's pretty interesting. I like this. I like I like this documentary. No print date. I think it's really interesting. And I actually have gone to MGM Grand when I went to Las Vegas um, about a year ago. Yeah, it was almost a year ago. In a couple of weeks, it would be a year ago. Because I went December of last year to Las Vegas, Nevada for a couple of days. As we all know. Next, I got um, Harry and Son. That reminds me, I have a lot of pictures of when I went to Las Vegas. I might have to show you guys pictures sometime. I just keep forgetting. It's been like a year. I'll try to show you guys sometime. Label fell off. Printed January 31st, 1986. I'm going to have to tape the label on in a couple days, probably. Like, maybe tomorrow or something. I'll try to fix the label. The label fell off of this tape. I'm going to have to check the closing. I have yet to check it. I'm probably going to do it the slow way, though, because um, otherwise I have a feeling it's going to snap, so I'm going to try to be careful. Yeah, but I'm just still going to have to be careful, because I, I, I have a feeling it's going to snap. Show it's a fire. GG Shield. Two per dates, May 27, 1989, May 17, 1989, so 10 days apart. Just like two weeks no, so it's interesting. Psycho. Whoops, dropped the tape. Sorry about that. July 11th, July 18th, Final Four. They forgot the four again. 17, forget 1998. This is actually taped to the box, despite being a Blockbuster rental. Hmm. I think Blockbuster did it themselves. In American Paris, MGM Musicals. This tape is damaged, though. February 15, 1996. You can hear the piece in the reel. And not only that, the film strip's damaged, and I'm not popping in this tape again. I'm going to get a new copy of this, but I'm still going to keep this one for the collection, and it'll keep up my MGM collection and add it up. I don't want to uh, make my MGM collection suffer because of it. Next, I got West Side Story. So the label, no print date. It is cracked in the lens, but the tape does still work, despite that. I popped it in. It, it does still work. In fact, I've done the opening to it. License to Kill. Save as the phone noise at the beginning, which is cool. No print date. Revenge of the Pink Panther. Snow no print date. Predator. June 27, 1990. This, this one actually does have a print date. It's pretty cool. Rocky. It's label, no print date. Next, I got Hulk. Hulk was your date, December 9th, Town 4. This date does have Silent Mac of it at the end. 42nd, we get Town 3, and has an upside down Blockbuster label, which is pretty interesting. Yes, yours is definitely rarer than mine, because yours has a print date. Mine just has a week in year code from 42nd week to 3. You know, yes, I do hate the movie, but I'll keep it for the collection. Helps the Universal Collection, so I was like, you know what, why not? Yes, I did order it from eBay in a VHS lot. Why not? Because it was a good deal, anyway, so I just went for it. So I know I'd regret it if I didn't. So to avoid the regretation, I just, I just ordered it. Goodfellas. Boring shit label, but however, it does still have the cheesy shield at the beginning. 
June 20th, 1997. Yep, I know. It was. It definitely did come out the day Batman and Robin came out in theaters. That sucks. Next, we got My Girl. Blacklist Date, May 3rd, Town 6. Sticker Label, 2000's Blockbuster Sticker. Born Barcode, 11th week of 95. So we're going to keep it anyway. Next, I got 991 Vultures of Dune. Um, 23rd week of 991. Wide screen of death only because of watch screen printings. And it does come with this book, lit. But I'm not going to show in this part, though. I'll show it in a separate video when I show all material in my tapes. Again, maybe in the future. Maybe a future video I'll do. Shy People. Block was your date, May 28th, on 1. August 23rd, 1988, and it has Black Street at the end. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Playable. October 13th, 2005. Has a really massive crack in the back. Wow, look at that thing. The tape does still work, though, despite having, like, a very massive, massive crack. Ugh, look at that. That's terrible. Yeah, the tape does still work, though, despite that huge crack. 2006 features the end of the spear. I actually did the opening of tape as well, with, and good news, I avoided copyright because I had no previews. Uh, per date is May 5th, 2006. I also did um, the closing screen of that one as well, along with Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Guys, you can request that as well as, as if you want. Like, I might, I'm planning on doing the one in the phone booth and the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, if that one ha those two have it. I'll check. And a couple others. Transporter, Tom Forge Chest, and some others. I might do those um, in a couple days or tomorrow or today, whenever I feel like it. I'll probably surprise you guys. So, guys, um, make sure, um, if you haven't subscribed to that channel and... Make sure to check out my openings and closings I've done if you haven't done them yet. If I haven't seen them yet. And I'll do more. And make sure to check them out when I'm done. Next, I got Janice. Guys, I'm debating if I should do the show the previews at the end of this tape and some others. Look at this! Ink label! Extremely rare MCA tape. January 20th on 4. This is one of the rarest MCA tapes ever. They didn't even change it to Universal. That is very weird. I don't even think I'm saying Universal is that old. I mean, was that, um, was that recent, I meant, sorry. I didn't even know it was that recent. My bad. Eh, we're humans. The clearing. Not sure if mine's a reprint or not, because it's May 31st, 2005. So it could be, but I'm not 100% sure. Jerry Maguire, Tom Cruise. Uh, May 1st, 1997. The awards edition of American Beauty. Yep, and I actually switched it to this side because the other side shows nudity, and I didn't want to show that. That's the only thing I don't really like about this uh, set because it that shows a little bit of nudity on the front of this part, so I'm not going to show it because it's pretty disturbing to some viewers. Even though, don't get me wrong, I don't really mind nudity. I'm not offended by it or anything. But I have a feeling some people may, may be offended, so I just in case that happens... Um, I'm going to block it off anyway. Part 1 is August 30th, 2000. Part 2 is September 2nd, 2000. Also, so I don't get censorship issues from YouTube and stuff like that due to censorship. Next. Analyze that. However, why? I mean, no, not widescreen. Spanish. My bad. Sorry about that. This tape's in Spanish. That's really rare, for sure. Playable. March 14th on 3. Terminal Man with George Seagal. 2000's Blockbuster sticker again, even though it does not have a Blockbuster date, which is weird. July 23rd, 1994. My guess is it actually has the older case, but however, it does have um, a reprint tape inside. I guess they must have... Um, Took the original tape out and put, replaced it with a reprint copy, maybe. <coughs> Who knows? Got a blockbuster date originally, maybe. <clears throat> Next, I got Rebecca. Alfred Hitchcock. Tape. No print date. It's 
the fly. No print date. And now the lid is pretty movable on this tape, but I am still going to keep it. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. February 12th on 2. Golden Gate. Playable. September 8th, not type 4. Fahrenheit 911. Lionsgate, IFC, Fellowship Adventure Group, LLC. 35th get on 4. And the last one I got is The Natural. It's a global. Um, 42nd week at Night High 3 and good barcode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, request more openings and closings. I'll do them as soon as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And number 6 will probably be coming tonight or tomorrow for sure. And see you guys later.